I am Dr. Tanvir Ahmed. Uh, this is practical number 2 of AN201 principles of animal nutrition. In this practical, uh, we will do identification of different feedstuffs, the feedstuffs which are commonly used in animal diet. So, uh, we have different uh, classes of feedstuff and under each class we will discuss a different type of feedstuffs and their characteristics. So, why we go for classification of feed, uh, feedstuffs, uh, here are some uh, objectives of classification, they help in the determ uh, help in the identification of related crop plants used for various purposes such as food fiber. So, that makes identification easier and they are essential for orderly reference, given we are go to uh, references stuff. Uh, then this classification is quite helpful uh, to avoid confusion in an identification because sometimes uh, the same feedstuff have different meaning uh, have different names in different countries uh, that uh, the common example is uh, the corn or in some countries it is known as maize there are different bases of classification uh, the most important one is uh, botanical classification and that is why call one and that is on the basis of structural characteristics of the feedstuff and uh, that botanical classification have four main types thallophyte, bryophyte, pteridophyte and spermatophyte. Uh, then uh, on the special purpose classification uh, we can say uh, that is uh, depending on uh, the area in which the classification is being done, uh, done like here is the agronomic use classification okay, they have classified feed, uh, crops or feedstuffs uh, like cereal crops forage crop fiber sugar oil seed so then special purpose classification and like if we use some uh, crops for the production of silage they are known as silage crops manure crops so, then there are uh, some other bases of uh, classification like on the basis of life cycle of the plant annual biennial and perennial plants then in pakistan the most important or in the common way of classifying feedstuff is on the basis of season that is the kharif crop uh, which are the summer crops and uh, their duration is from march to july and then winter crops are the rabi crop then there is also another definition that is zaid rabi or zaid kharif when those crops are grown uh, just after the routine uh, uh, or the common rabi season so they are known as zaid rabi or zaid kharif then on the basis of climate uh, the crops which are uh, sown or which uh, give better yield uh, in a particular type of climate so uh, like temperate zone crop and the tropical crops subtropical uh, crops then on the basis of photo period short day or long day or neutral day plants on the basis of growing habit mode of pollination mode of propagation mode of photosynthesis and nutrient uptake nutritional value then comes the function of feedstuff number one they provide one or more uh, nutrients or properties like they uh, protein lipid carbohydrate mineral vitamin water they are provided by the feedstuff and most important importantly the first one uh, that's a major uh, uh, role of this nutrient is to provide the energy the second type of feedstuff they modify characteristics of the diet they are used to improve the nutrient utilization they are uh, used to improve the feed intake of the animal they are used to improve the keeping qualities of the stuff they are used to improve the shelf life of the animal so they are usually uh, defined in a single term that is a feed additive here is the example of this uh, fat emulsifiers uh, antioxidants that reduces the oxidation or uh, some of the stuff they are used to provide bulk uh, to improve the flavor of the feed next is uh, classification of feed stuff uh, for animal use uh, this classification is based on uh, two uh, things the first is about the fiber content of the feed stuff and the second is on the basis of its uh, total digestible nutrient and those were based on the chemical composition of the plant uh, the fiber contents basically indicates about the bulkness of the diet because the high fibrous diet they are usually uh, not suitable for monogastric species and the stuff which contain that high amount of fiber uh, they are mainly recommended for ruminant animal feeding and the second or chemical or nutrient composition that basically uh, describes the 
amount of total digestible nutrient in a feed stuff the feed stuff uh, which is uh, highly digestible definitely will have high tdn value so uh, the stuff which contain high tdn value they are considered as uh, energy feed stuff and a good quality feed stuff so for from nutrition point of view we consider this classification uh, on the basis of their crude fiber and total digestible nutrient contents uh, for animal feed stuff uh, we classify them into five major classes the first one is roughages roughages are high in fiber usually roughages contain more than 18% crude fiber on the basis of moisture content they are further divided into green or succulent roughages and dry roughages succulent roughages moisture content are above 60% whereas in case of dry roughages the moisture content they are less than 15% second is concentrate uh, concentrates are high in total digestible nutrient more than 60% total digestible nutrient are present in concentrate and uh, they contain uh, fiber less than 18% on the type of feed stuff like which are high in energy we say they are the energy concentrate or energy feed while those which are high in protein uh, they are considered as protein supplement or protein feed stuff uh, in energy feed stuff the protein contents are usually less than 20% whereas in protein supplements the protein contents they are more than 20% uh, then comes mineral supplements and vitamin supplements usually when we formulate diet the amount of mineral and vitamins which are available from feed stuff like roughage and concentrate uh, they have been subtracted from the total requirement so whatever whatever uh, the leftover material is there so that leftover requirement they are met from feeding a mineral or vitamin source uh, uh, in the diet like for uh, to fulfill the requirement of calcium we use uh, limestone we use dicalcium phosphate so that's why they are considered as supplements so they are in addition to uh, those which are coming from the feed stuff mineral supplements either they may be from some natural sources or either uh, they may be synthetically or commercially produced in a uh, in the industry uh, same is true for the vitamins either they are from the natural sources or they may be in the form of pure element uh, that are synthetically uh, manufactured in a uh, factory uh, usually uh, the mineral and vitamin supplements which we have in the market even for human consumption they are uh, coming from these pure elements or from their uh, synthetic sources right they are not uh, the nat they are not coming from the natural sources uh, last one is the additives additives are uh, non nutritive feed stuff they do not provide nutrition but they are uh, used to improve the nutritive worth of the diet improve the nutrient utilization and also sometimes to protect animal from some diseases or improve the keeping quality of the diet or to improve the growth of the individual a number of feed additives they are available in the market like this antibiotic enzyme pro and prebiotic coloring flavoring agents medicine hormone implant there is a long list of these additives they are either used for uh, uh, some of them they are uh, used uh, used as as a uh, routine uh, stuff in the diet and some uh, are recommended or used under special circumstances antibiotics they were used as a growth promoter but nowadays uh, their use have been banned uh, in different uh, countries of the world international feed classes uh, before this we have discussed the five major classes but internationally uh, these feed stuffs they are divided into eight classes the first three classes are basically the uh, roughages the fourth and fifth these are the concentrate whereas sixth seventh eight they are the similar which we have discussed as mineral vitamin supplements and additives uh, why they have divided roughages into three and uh, energy and protein supplement as a uh, different class the reason being that when we uh, give an international feed number to different feed stuff uh, then the numbering can be uh, easy and uh, from that number we can easily recognize whether it is uh, whether it is a uh, whether it is a silage or it is a pasture or dry roughage or energy feed or protein supplement so firstly if you look at this they are the dry roughages then green roughages and silages all three are the roughages 
सो हेयर इज़ अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ईच क्लास ड्राई फॉरजिज एंड रफेजिस के आल फॉरजिज एंड रफेजिस दे कट और क्योर्ड एंड अदर प्रोडक्ट विद मोर दैन एटीन परसेंट क्रोड फाइबर द सेम डेफिनेशन विच वी हैव फॉर द रफेजिस और दे कंटेन मोर दैन थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सेल वॉल फॉरजिन रफेजिस दे आर लो इन नेट एनर्जी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस के दे आर नॉट रिच इन एनर्जी एग्जाम्पल्स आर हे स्ट्रा स्टोवर सेकेंड इज़ द पास्चर रेंज प्लांट एंड फॉरज ग्रेन सो दीज आर द फॉरज फीड आई दर नॉट कट इंक्लूडिंग फीड्स क्यूर्ड ऑन द स्टेम और कट एंड फेड फ्रेश तो दे आर मोस्टली द मटेरियल विच वी यूज फॉर एनिमल फीडिंग पर्टिकुलरली रूमिनेंट एनिमल फीडिंग आल्सो अ ग्रीन रफेज बट बिकॉज दिस क्लास इंक्लूड ओनली द इनसाइड फॉरज सो दे हैव कंसिडर्ड इट एज ए डिफरेंट क्लास दैन इनर्जी फीड एंड प्रोटीन सप्लीमेंट बोथ आर द कंसनट्रेट दो विच आर रिच इन एनर्जी दे are considered as energy feed where those which are high in protein and their protein content is more than 20% so they are considered as protein supplements as compared to which we have defined the reason is they use these numbers for giving international feed number to different feed stuffs so from the number anyone can easily recognize what type of feed or what part of the plant have been used uh, in that type of in practical number 2 uh, we discuss uh, objectives of classification basis of classification and uh, we classify feed stuff uh, into five major classes and uh, uh, for the detail of each class and the type of feed stuff and their identification uh, under each class we will discuss uh, in uh, next practical uh, as a uh, activity of this practical uh, you have to uh, make a list of different feed stuff that you have seen uh, or have knowledge about their usage in animal diet so uh, look uh, around yourself and make a list of uh, such items which are being used uh, in animal feeding Uh, write down uh, all those uh, feed stuff on your practical notebook and then uh, against each uh, feed stuff you have to write down the class uh, which we have discussed uh, in this practical uh, this is just a guesswork uh, so that uh, i can check how much you have learned so in the next practical class uh, we will uh, share those uh, uh, information and you can check whether uh, your activity is correct or wrong so simply share your uh, page uh, as an email attachment uh, uh, for their evaluation thank you